Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the show. I'm Jack Canfield, your host. My next guest is Eileen Forrestal. She is a retired medical doctor, spent 20 years as an anesthesiologist putting people to sleep, and now refired as an entrepreneur. She's busy waking people up. I love it. With her inspirational get up and go diaries, journals, and planners. And she sold over 400,000 copies of these books. These are great books. I love these. They're incredible. You've done a really good job with this. These are a couple that are coming up for this coming year in 2021. Uh, I leafed through them and I couldn't put them down. Uh, she's a wonderful person as you're about to see. She believes in contributing to empowering the personal health and well-being of many more people with words of wisdom than she could ever do with drugs and her one pair of hands when she was a doctor. So thanks for joining me, Eileen. Thanks for, thanks for having me, Jack. I'm delighted to be here. You're welcome. Uh, and thank you. So what inspired you to start this business of, of journals and diaries and, and all that kind of thing? It's, it's a unique business for a doctor to go into. Yeah, well, it just, you know, I kind of fell into it almost by accident. I was working as an anesthetist. I was working away. It's a busy job. It's a stressful job. And I actually used a little diary myself called the Irish Survivor's Diary. So um, really, it turned out that you know, like when I went to kind of explore the, you know, the Irish like Survivor's Diary for myself and uh, the person who was doing it invited me to go into a partnership with them. And uh, in order to kind of keep the diary alive, she wasn't really able to manage it by herself. It wasn't doing so well, as in the reasons that she behind it when she had done it, the reasons she had done it for herself to inspire herself. You know, her husband had been quite ill. She was new to Ireland. And... Um, so she'd worked with it for four years, actually putting all these little pieces together to really encourage and inspire herself in dealing with all the really kind of challenging things that she had to deal with, with, you know, arriving in Ireland as a new country and, you know, then her husband being diagnosed and just getting ill and just having all that challenge for the four years. So when I actually met her, her husband had died and uh, she really wasn't, just didn't have a lot of just enthusiasm really to run with the diaries anymore and I thought oh no no please 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 <laughs> anything that's actually going to keep these diaries alive because they were so kind of beneficial for me you know like I'm a doctor and I really felt I needed this <laughs> so I needed this to be able to kind of keep myself you know in perspective and balance so uh, I went into partnership then in 2006 and uh, we changed it then from the Irish Survivor's Diary because it was 2006 it was the Celtic Tiger you know it was roaring here <laughs> the economy was like totally flying here so I really wanted to change it and I wanted it to be like what is it about being up and going you know really if you're up and going and out there and doing what you love in life and really like so what's life like then so that's really the thing it was kind of having it be about you know creating this future we have it on the front of the diary it says forgive the past let it go you know live the present the power of now and then create the future thoughts become things so it's about having the just all of these thoughts like distilled into small bite-sized pieces, little morsels of nourishment, little pearls of wisdom. And uh, you can just kind of access that like every day. So we don't have time to read a lot of books all the time. So it's great that we get all this wisdom from great thinkers over the years. So the thinkers have done all the thinking and now they put it down on words. And if we can find some of those words and maybe nourish ourselves with the little morsel that we need, I think I see it like as a doctor, you know, we need like the amino acids, we need the building blocks and the vitamins. We don't need as much maybe as we think we do. So it's the little bits, the little ingredients that really kind of have us up and going. And without those, those little ingredients, I think things can be, we can get quite stuck. So. Now you've been doing this for 14 years. You seem yeah. very inspired and enthusiastic about it still. Why is this so important to you? I think it's just the feedback that we get you know we never quite know where our diaries are going you know we like we send them everywhere we send them to we distribute them to retailers and then retailers have their customers so we never quite know who's buying the diaries and who they're buying them for but we know that people buy them for friends and families but then we get the letters and the calls from the people who have received the diary as a gift so and they just say it came at the right time it was just perfect they didn't know they needed it but you know it was just and lovely so we just kind of feel we're doing something right so just because of that feedback and just and then people say well could we have one for you know teenagers <laughs> could we have one for you know other groups and I think oh my goodness yes we could you know oh, yes we could do that you know we're now doing like a well-being journal we can do leadership journals <laughs> so we have all these opportunities just to reach more people so that more people can get inspired and it's not inspired it's inspired by who they are like they read what they read and then they're inspired then to go and do something that maybe they wouldn't have been inspired to do had they not read it. So we never quite know what's, you know, like where they go, but certainly the words that we get back and the encouragement and the fact that people keep buying them and then buy them for their friends and buy more. <laughs> we think, okay, that's fine. We just keep doing what we're doing. So, How many different diaries and journals and books do you have every year? We're probably up to nearly maybe 10. 
Um, ones. Ten different ones, yeah. So, you know, we started off with the signature, which was the Irish Get Up and Go Diary, the signature diary. And that was when we kind of were like, we were connected with the diaspora. We were sending them to Irish people all over the place. And then we had like the Get Up and Go Diary for the people who wanted the content, but they weren't necessarily Irish. And then we came up one, then with one for, you know, teens and young people then in 2013, which that was really, I just really loved that one. And that one got very... I just really, I thought that was really important. I like that one myself. It's still, I really like that one. <laughs> I know a long way from being a teenager, but I kind of feel myself, if I had that as a teenager, you know, I'd wonder would, you know, would things have been a little bit easier for me? Mm-hmm. And uh, then we moved then, you know, for busy women. And I think, you know, all women are busy, but, you know, sometimes it's like permission, <laughs> permission to relax and permission to maybe not have to, you know, anyway, there was all that for busy women. And uh, then we had a, you know, a travel journal. Then we worked with schools, actually. We did a homework journal for schools and we got a great feedback from that as well because I put a lot of my kind of health, you know, like it's all about it's all about being healthy, you know, healthy thinking, <laughs> healthy thinking and then healthy practices and healthy actions and healthy habits and then, you know, life is easier. So, you've kind, yeah. You've, you've, you've kind of talked about this, but why do you think these diaries are so successful? What makes them so popular with people? The simplicity of it. I think they're like, it's, it's simple and they're accessible. They're like easy to pick up and put down. They're easy to flick through. They, you know, they, they just have a, I think, you know, it's like you pick it up and people just say they pick them up and then they turn a page and they read something else and they turn a page and they read something else and they turn a page and they just kind of get, as I say, they're these little morsels that people are getting. They're just little sentences. And, you know, I mean, I've lots of anecdotes that I could really sort of tell you, you know, about like how magical they, they, they seem to be. But as I say, I never quite know what it is, but people read something in them that just seems to, they just want to pick it up and read some more. So they just right. seem to love them. You said you have an anecdote or two. I'm curious what they what they would be. Oh gosh, well I have two really wonderful ones actually, and again they were the it was from younger people. So we actually were in America. We went to Milwaukee, the Irish Fest in Milwaukee, and um, you know we were kind of quiet. It was down sort of you know down like at the back and the exhibition stand, and and this little girl came came across you know and she. She just kind of very quietly came around the corner, you know, and she's a little girl. She looked about 11, you know, her hair was in piglets, kind of round cheeks, you know, and glasses. And uh, she was kind of looking at the looking at the books. They were very colourful colour that year. And she was looking at the books and she was rubbing her hand along them, you know. And I said, look, take it up and have a look at it, you know. So she picked it up and she was looking at it. And I said, what's your birthday? And then she said, oh, birthday, right? And then she flicked through it and realised, oh, it was a calendar, you know, and there was a birthday on it. So she found her birthday. And I said, what does it say for your birthday? And uh, she read it out. She said, uh, when you lose, don't lose the lesson. And I said, what do you think that means? And she said, I don't know. <laughs> so we had like a 10 second conversation, like a tiny conversation. And she put that down. She said, oh, OK. And she put it down. You know, and then she stood back. And then this woman came around the corner and she said, mommy, mommy, can I have this book? <laughs> and mommy came over and mommy said, no, 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 you have too many books. That's a diary. You're full of diaries. This, you don't want another one. You know, no, no, that's too many. No, no, come on. And she walked off, you know. And the little girl stood back again, you know, and she looked. And then this man came around and a boy. <laughs> and the guy came, the little boy came over and he was <laughs> going through all the books. And uh, the girl said, Daddy, Daddy, can I have this book? And he turned to the boy and he said, Do you want one to? <laughs> He said, how much are they? I said, they're $5 each, you know, two for 10. And he turned to the boy and says, do you want one? And the boy says, yeah, yeah, sure, you know. So he said, okay, I'll have two. So he, she got two, right? She just, she got her book, you know, she was walking off and she turned around and she just gave me this, this little smile. It's like, I got it. <laughs> I got my book. <laughs> and then she walked off. And I just thought that was just so precious. You know, whatever that was, whatever she got it at like 10 second little conversation about that little sentence to me was just like, oh, what was that? <laughs> That's sweet. No, I, I love I, one. But one of the things I like about it when I leaf through the diaries is that there are these quotes that are just like this wonderful wisdom contained in like 10 or 12 words, sometimes yeah. a whole poem or something like that. And it just gives you a, an uplifting insight that you can use throughout the day and just remind you of something important that we often forget. And so it's not like overwhelming, like you have to sit down and read a book to get the lesson. You can just learn something in a very short, short period of time. I'm, as I leave through, I just kept smiling and smiling and smiling. So I understand how that works. Now, what's your, you know, have been doing this for 14 years. What's your vision of the future? Do you plan to keep doing this? And is it growing at all? Or what's your dream? Well, it's growing. I certainly, you know, now we've had the opportunity to really go digital, you know, so we've learned a little bit now how to 
how to make digital offerings. And now it makes it more possible that the people who have asked over the years, oh, you know, could we have one for, you know, like we had the Indian Get Up and Go Diary. We did that for two years and we did a South African Get Up and Go Diary. <laughs> and, you know, so now it's kind of opportunity to maybe do them, you know, we can translate them, we can have them maybe culturally designed, you know, people could maybe contribute their favorite quotes from their particular country. So there's loads of, I think, opportunities for it. So we're just sitting here thinking, well, whatever's next, what do people want? And, you know, can we kind of rise to the challenge and see what's, see what's there? Because as you say, they are little pearls of wisdom. It is about have people up and going in life and uh, whatever has people up and going. They say, you know, don't ask, what is it? Don't, um, don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive. What, because what the world needs is people who have come alive. So it's like, what has you go up and going? What makes you come alive? And then go do that. And then the world will be, you know, hopefully different. <laughs> It's actually one of my favorite quotes in the whole world. So I'm, really, <laughs> I'm really glad yeah. you shared that one. Okay. Um, so if you were to step back and say well, the fundamental message in these diaries is what? Gosh, I think they put it on the cover. It's, I suppose it is live the present. It really is about live the present, but kind of, you know, because it's today. And, you know, stuff that happened yesterday and stuff happened last year and stuff happened last year, 10 years ago. And it's like to kind of say, yeah, but really it's about the future. And it's today and it's what you do today and how you think today is going to make tomorrow, you know, different or better. So you always have to be future focused mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's really allowing you to kind of go forward every day. So we're always kind of out in time for the next year. You know, I know it seems early, but people need this future to live into. It's like it's a future thing. There's another quote that I, I kind of, you know, I kind of, I'm reluctant to put it in sometimes, but I do put it in a lot. And it says, you know, without a vision, the people would perish. So you do need something to be bringing you forward, something that you've said, this is what I want. You know, we have it in terms of goals and we have it in terms of ambitions and dreams. And it's like, the, you know, have the confidence and have the courage to just every day, one little small step in that direction. And, you know, there might be one little instruction or some little word in the diary that day that has you move a little bit towards that thing that you say that you want or you'd like or you'd love and just to be moving inching in that direction every day <laughs> that's so, great just simple that's good that's really good well i love your energy i love your books i love the fact that you seem to be a walking advertisement for what it is you're sharing with people because your energy is so positive and and uplifting and i just get I just get excited and uplifted by just talking to you. And so I'm sure all our viewers are having the same experience. So if they want to get a hold of your diaries, see which ones you have and maybe purchase some for themselves and as gifts, you know, as we're recording this, this will be on your website and on the, you know, the rest of the time in history, this will be out there. But as we're recording this, we're moving into the, the what we often call the Christmas Hanukkah holiday season. Uh, we got great gifts for people in the coming year. Uh, where would people go to find your diaries? How do they, how do they uh, purchase these? Okay, well, the diary, is, the website is, the, you know, is the getupandgodiary.com. So if you want to get up and go diary, you go to getupandgodiary.com. Very and good. then they're all there and we post them everywhere. As long as the, as long as the airlines let us fly in the books now, we, we post them everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you so much for joining me. This was really fun, Eileen. I, I wish we had an hour instead of, uh, you know, 15 minutes, but this has been really uplifting. I wish you the best of success. Thank and you. all of you watching out there, uh, these are really cool. If you look inside them, there's all these uh, pages that are colorful. There's quotes. There's things that uplift you. And each day you can uh, either write down your intentions or you can write down what happened to you that day, your goals, your insights, whatever you might want to do, what you're grateful for, et cetera. And uh, allow this to be part of your uh, daily routine that will allow you to live your life in a more uplifting and uh, future focused, even living in the present, but creating the future you want. Mm -hmm. so again, thank you, Eileen. And for the rest of you, uh, we'll see you next week. And thanks for joining us.